Friends, in the UPSC Civil Services Personality Test, also called as interview, broadly we can look at the questions in two parts. One are factual questions and another are opinion based questions. So factual questions, what do the actual test is in the factual questions? Maybe some four things. One is the clarity. For example, in factual question, if you know the answer, you will tell it. If you do not know, you will say, sir, I do not know. So clarity. The clarity of whether you know the answer or don't know the answer. Because I have seen in some of the mock interviews I am conducting, that some students, they do not know the facts. But they'll try to bluff or they'll try to, you know, uh, tell the confusion in which they are. Means they are not very clear whether they know or don't know. So, first thing is clarity. Maintain the clarity. Telling, sir, I do not know is also a good answer. Second thing is honesty. That means if you do not know, are you beating around the bush or clearly telling I do not know. Make being straightforward and honest is second quality that the test in the factual questions. Third thing is, of course, inquisitiveness. Being inquisitive means having an awareness of your surroundings, your area, locality, state or current affairs happening in Indian world. Of course, at in the interview, in the personal test, you cannot tell something which you do not know. So, if some fundamental facts, if you are unable to tell, maybe a few marks will be reduced. But you cannot do anything about it. But regarding the clarity, in the interview, you can be very clear. Regarding the honesty, yes, it is in your hands. If you want to be honest in the interview, you can be honest. Inquisitive, it is not in your hands, of course, at this point of time. In the last one month or two months, you cannot do anything about it. So, don't worry about that. And the fourth thing about the factual questions is that maintaining the cool. If you are relaxed, happy and cool, you can remember some of the facts. If you are tensed and worried and if you want to overperform, you will actually forget some of the facts. So there are the four things, you know, whether are you tensed or cool, do you have clarity, are you honest, are you inquisitive, or the four things broadly they can test in the factual questions. Now coming to the opinion based questions. Friends, in opinion based questions, one thing they can definitely test is confidence. For example, I have an opinion. You asked me, the board members asked me an opinion. If I have an opinion, I should be confident enough to express my opinion. Because in the mock interviews, I observed that some of the candidates are they shy away from telling their opinion confidently. So, first thing, maintain the confidence, tell your opinion. It can be a wrong opinion, right opinion, does not matter, but everybody should have an opinion. And as you become a bureaucrat, as you grow, as you learn more information, your opinion may change. Don't worry about that. So one is having an opinion, being confident. Second thing is evidence-based approach. When you tell an opinion, you should be able to substantiate it with the facts, reports, data or some examples, whatever. Without any kind of evidence, without any kind of substantiation, if you tell your opinion just in the thin air, it will not be appreciated. So try to give your opinion with the proper evidence. Second thing in the opinion based questions. Third is don't take any extremes. See for, of course you can tell your opinion confidently but extremes in the sense if you think government has not done well in a particular project you can tell it in a constructive way. That sir government has tried it best however there are some improvements there are some things which you can do more. You tell in that way. Don't try to criticize the government you know, on the, in the face of the interview board. It means don't be very extreme in your opinions. I am not asking you to be neutral. No need to be neutral also. But don't try to be extreme also. Try to have a balanced judgment. So there are three things they can test in the opinion based questions. One is are you an extreme person or no? Second thing is are you a person who has logic or evidence behind your opinion? And third thing is, third thing about the opinion based questions is whether you are confidently able to express opinion. So that's how broadly I can, uh, you know, divide the UPS interview questions, facts and opinions and try to keep these things in the mind. And friends, in this video, this is what I want to tell. And in my next video, I will discuss some more tips and strategies about UPSC interviews. All the best.